So hello and welcome my friends. After a long time we are again go, going to meet with you. So in this chapter we are going to discuss about the medical dictionary that is very much uh, uh, useful to the all the paramedical uh, the students, nursing students and also the medical students. You must obviously see this video until it is uh, going to be finished. So in this video, from this video you can learn about how to study a medical dictionary and when you can study this medical dictionary with the prefixes, suffixes and combining form of the words, then you can easily, easily the uh, word can be meaningful before you. So before that, we are going to start with just uh, take an example that uh, uh, like a uh, word is that amylase. Amylase is that word that means that amylase is an enzyme, all, all of you know that. But how it is enzyme that is is that does means that this is a breaking agent so it is a breaking agent that means the it, a enzyme like a, that breaks a substrate so amylase is then a, 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 a enzyme and what is what does mean that amyl amyl does means that the starch so then you can easily recall that the amylase is, is, is that enzyme which can easily break down the starch materials only. So in that question for that uh, if anybody asks you that what is the function of amylase then you can easily recall that thing that amyl does, does stands for starch and is the starch for breaking agent. So amylase is an uh, enzyme that breaks only start materials so in this chapter we are going to start from the uh, categorically that is alphabetically from a to z so don't think that uh, today we are discussing about it like that it go, going for happening to 26 videos not like that the maximum what are in this a chapter so a after uh, i uh, what i have written that a hyphen that means that this a is the prefix of a word or and that is after and there is a hyphen that means that is a, it is a prefix of a word so a is add before a con consonant and n is adding before a vowel only so it, it does means that absence or absence of or not or lacking of so like that the amorphic so M is the consonant, so the word, uh, the prefix is the A, that means that which, which has a not a definite morphology. So that amorphic does stands for which have a not definite morphology. Like that atoxic, that means that that is not a toxic agent. Anaerobe, A is here is the cons uh, vowel only, so N is added before there. So anaerobe means that uh, that organism which uh, living without any oxygen so, or without any air only. So ab, ab also a prefix here. Ab does means that away from or opposite. So opposite like that abnormal. Normal is the uh, word. So abnormal is the opposite word or like that ab articulation. Ab articulation does means that articulation that is in uh, arranged in a defined matter and ab articulation is the dislocation of a joint so ab articulation does means that dislocation of a joint like that abdomen or abdomen so abdomen when uh, abdomen does uh, the that is our stomach area so abdomen with the thoracic part that is the throat part is a uh, again a combined form of what that is Abdominothoracic or abdominal gia. Algia does stands for pain. So abdominal algia does means that pain in my stomach. That is abdominal algia. Like that acantha. Acantha does means that a spine like projection from a vertebra or backbone. So acantha is like that a like that it means that a spiky projection like that a amoeba which has a spiky projection is called a acantho amoeba so you can now easily uh, uh, about the morphology of uh, uh, acantho amoeba you can easily tell that the 
it is a amoeba which has a spine led projection or acanthocytes if i tell you that acanthocytes is it is a special type of rbc red blood cell sites matlab sites that means that cell so acanthocytes is that rbc which has a spike like projection so acanthocyte not the corona virus i am telling here the spike like projection now the acapnia acapnia is not the uh, original pronunciation the original pronunciation is the apnea ac is omitted here so the hypoapnea or apnea does means that abnormally low carbon dioxide concentration in blood now ac ac uh, again a prefix that means that accretion that is the growth by addition of similar tissue or material so uh, here is again a example that the accrementation or accumulation like that acro acro does that means that extremity peak or tip so extremely grows uh, something is that acromegaly extremely grow by the uh, due to over action of the pituitary gland so all of you know about the acromegaly now the phobia acrophobia phobia like the hydrophobia phobia so the, this is the acrophobia again acromania yani uh, acro again with mania whereas uh, more, more extreme manias or acro hypothermia again this is a contradictory word acro does means that extreme hypo does means that low and thermi thermi does means that temperature so but the acro hypothermi here it is means that in the extreme organs that is the peripheral organs like our hands or leg when it is going to very cool that is this condition is known as acro hypothermi now the next word is the actin actin does means that ray or radius ray does means that uh, that the actinomyces actinomyces again a bacteria if i uh, what is the uh, the morphology of actinomyces it is a radial that is a bacillus so you can easily define that the actinomyces is a bacillus only now the actinotherapy like that actinotherapy what is that means that the treatment with infrared or uv ray when a uh, treatment is uh, uh, held with the help of something ray that uh, especially in the case of back pains we are using doctors are using infrared light so that this therapy is known as actinotherapy now the word is acu acu again it is a prefix that the word is that acute acute does means that rapid onset that is the severe symptoms brief duration or intensified disease that is the acute like that the sars that is due to the covid virus so the sars that is the severe acute respiratory syndrome and the opposite words this is that chronic which is not insane or not which is not severe and not a rapid onset it is a it is in a uh, it is not in a brief duration it is for a long that is the chronic form now the add if it is a add uh, it uh, somewhat as a add prefix that the add does means that towards or near like that the adrenal adrenal is a gland which is near to the kidney so it is adrenal now add here that is adhering something with or, or adsorption that is adhering again it is adhering now the aden or adeno that means the gland or glands that the aden algia does means that uh, pain in the gland adenogenesis genesis does means the generation that the generation of a gland adenopathy pathy does means the disease so the disease in a gland so the adenotitis uh, adeno ad, uh, adenitis tis does means that inflammatory condition so the uh, gland is inflammated or adenoidectomy that is a surgical procedure of cutting it uh, and minus it from the uh, anatomy so the tommy does means that cutting by a surgical procedure so the adeno the, adenoidectomy is the procedure of minus uh, minusing a gland like uh, again there is a disease like adenoma or lymph adenoma adenolymphoma 
again now the next word is the adip adip does means that fat or lipid that is the adiptocyte which cell site does means that cell which cell containing more fat is the adiptocyte or adipose tissue which containing the uh, uh, mainly the fat or the lipid the, like our uh, in our belly that is the adipose tissue which containing more more fat now amia amia is now a suffix only amia a specified biochemical condition of a blood so uh, like that anemia that is the uh, now the second condition is the hyperglycemia glycemia does gly gly that stands for the glucose hyper does stands for the extreme and amia is a disease condition so hyperglycemia is uh, more blood uh, sugar in the blood now the lipidemia more lipid in blood is the lipidemia air 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 does means the air or gas that is the arrow Aerobic is a noun and aerobic again an adjective. Now the aerogastria, the inhalation of gas in stomach, or the aerogenesis or the formation of gas aerogenesis. Now the some words are uh, again I am going to discuss here. The aerosol, a suspension of extremely small, that is 0.001 millimeter. Always this type of figure are in the diameter form, not in the radius form. Now a suspension of extremely small particles of liquid or gas, liquid or solid suspended in a gas. So if it is liquid suspended in air, the, the, there will be more uh, raining. And again this technology we are adapting for the uh, making of inhaler. For the uh, uh, breathing conditioning present that the, for the, in the inhaler there is a gas. And in that gas, the medicinal particles are in a suspended manner, which is directly going to the uh, lung of the patient to relieve the patient. Now the aerophagia. Aerophagia, what is aerophagia? The swallowing of air, voluntary or accidentally. So voluntary or accidentally, when we are taking food in a very rapid manner, we can swallow air. So, this is again a treatment methodology for that aerophagia for the treatment of laryngectomy patients. The patient is the etiology or etiology or etiology that is whatever the cause of a specific disease. The etiology that stands for the cause of a specific disease or the study or science of the cause of a disease. So in search of a disease or the cause of a disease is generally known as the etiology or etiology or etiology as you can say that or uh, as you can uh, pronounce as uh, as you like you can pronounce it that so for that uh, today the, we are going to close this chapter again in the next video we are going to discuss with the b c d uh, like the alphabets so thank you for